To open the Imagine Shape workbench, go to Start, Shape, Imagine Shape, then name your part. We are going to start by making Pooh's body. Click on the Sphere tool in the Creation toolbar. The Tools palette will be very useful. Notice the coordinate axes in the middle of the object. To move the entire object, select the All Elements Selection icon, the last button in the Tools palette. Select the Translation tool, the third icon from the left. You can select any of the axes and drag the object in that direction. To change the shape of the object, click the Affinity tool. Again, click an axis and drag to elongate or shorten the size of the sphere. If you click on the Vertex Selection second icon from the right, you can click on any point and apply the tools to a single or multiple selected points. The Face Selection and Edge Selection tools work similarly on planes and lines. For easier maneuvering, you can use the arc on the coordinate axes. We are now adjusting the points to make Pooh's belly. We must flatten the back and make the profile for a stomach. To change the name, right-click the component in the specification tree. Click Properties and change the name under the tab Feature Properties. You can also change the color under the Graphic tab in the same window. To make this head, we're going to start with a sphere. We're going to use the Affinity tool again to change the size and shape of the head. As you can see, each side of the sphere is split into four faces. We can change the number of faces by using the Face Cutting tool in the Styling Surfaces toolbar. Click on a line and then use the bar to the right of the screen to increase and decrease the amount of faces. Click the check marks in the box to apply the changes. It is good to change the number of faces when your object needs a lot of detail. It gives you more faces, lines, and points to change. In order to keep symmetry when making the face, it is helpful to move multiple points at the same time. For example, to make the spots Pooh's eyes will go, we click both points and want them to go in opposite directions, like move them towards each other or away from each other. For this, we use the Affinity tool. Select the axis on which we want to move and drag the mouse. The other option, if you want multiple points to go the same distance and same direction, use the Translation tool. When making the nose, we pull out one vertex to use the attraction tool to make more of a pointed tip. In general, the attraction tool will stretch the solid towards the selected point, line, or face, conforming to this selection. The severity or subtleness is controlled by the bar on the right. The ear is made using the same previous tools. 
Now we need to attach it to the head. We move the ear close to where it will be attached, and if needed, use the rotate tool in the tools palette to rotate the object about an axis. Select the alignment tool in the tools palette, just left of the attraction tool. Make sure the along direction icon is selected, the third icon from the right. Now select the head or the surface it will be attached to. A new set of axes will appear. Click and drag along the axis the object should be moved. If the correct projection is not along one of the main axes, the axes can be reoriented using the first icon in the tools palette, the compass definition. The axes will turn green and you can use tools such as rotation and affinity to change the orientation of the axis system. In most cases, the axis system will want one axis perpendicular to the surface the object is being attached to, in this case, the head. To make the eye, we don't want a sphere, but a 2D surface. Under the rectangle icon in the creation toolbar is the circle tool. Adjust the size of the circle and attach to the head in the same way the ear was attached. The same tools that are used on the 3D objects can be used on the 2D objects. The leg is made with the sphere and affinity tool once again. To add the foot, we can make an extrusion. Select the face cutting tool in the styling services toolbar. Make sure the first icon, cut multi edges, is selected. Select one of the vertical lines. Use the bar on the right to decrease it so there's only two faces. Click the check mark to apply. Select the bottom square on the front face and find the face subdivision tool in the same toolbar. Use the bar on the right to determine the correct size. Apply by clicking the check mark. Select the extrusion tool in the same toolbar and then select the inner square on the same face. Apply. Repeat until the desired length is reached. Now use the previous steps to shape the foot. The last step is to make Pooh's shirt. Locate the offset tool on the shape operations toolbar. Select the stomach as the surface and offset at 0.5 inches. Go to the tab called sub elements to remove. Click all the faces on the selected part that will not be offset. In this case, that will not be a part of the shirt. Select OK. Repeat this process on the arms for his sleeves. As with all the parts, the color can be changed under properties.